Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to learn how to place your animations onto a mobile screen or a laptop just like this. This is very easy to create and it looks very professional to showcase your work. All this using only After Effects. So let's begin. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and as you can see that I've already imported a couple of footages. And over here we have these transparent PNG images of these smartphones. So I downloaded them from PNG tree. But if you have your own, then you can use them. So all of these have just transparent background. And over here we have the animation which we want to place inside these. And if you want to learn how to create this animation, then I have uploaded a tutorial a couple of days ago. I'll put a link in the description from where you can check this out. So after that, you can just import them in After Effects and you're ready to go. So let's begin. So first we are going to create a new composition and I'm going to call this one main. Width and height will be 1920 by 1080 frame rate 30 fps and duration you can pick whatever you want. Just click on OK. Now let's import one of these images. So I'm going to import the iPhone image. Let's drag it over here. You can see that it's quite big. So I'm going to press S and let's scale this down. Something like this. Now let's add a background. So for that right click new. Let's add a solid background and let's make this a little bit off white color just like that just click on ok so we can place this at the bottom so here you can see we have the iphone and we have the background now our next step is to place this animation inside this but for that we have to figure out the resolution of this so in order to do that you can just take help of internet and you can just search for the resolution so i'm using this iphone 12 model so i'm going to search for iphone 12 screen resolution and you can see that it will give you these values so you can just create a new composition with these dimensions so i'm going to just copy these so let's create a new composition and i'm going to just paste them and let's copy the other one as well which is 1170 so let's type 1170 over here now if i click ok you can see that it has created the horizontal one so i'm going to just quickly flip these values so let's copy this and paste it over here and 1170 we can place it over here and now you can see we have this vertical comp in which we can easily place our animation so let's drag it over here and now i'm going to press s and i'm going to just scale this up so that it's completely inside this composition so let's place this somewhere around here just like that so here you can see we have this full animation and we created this composition because we want the aspect ratio of this to be perfect otherwise your video footage will look different so before we proceed a lot of you watching right now have not subscribed to my channel and i want you to please do that because i want to hit 100k subscriber this year on my channel so make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon so let's continue so once you're done with this we can probably import this just like that now i'm going to press s to scale this up so here you can see we have this animation now our next step is to place this onto the screen so in order to do that we are going to apply an effect called corner pin and let's drag it and just place it onto this composition after that just zoom in and we can easily click and drag these points to place this around the edge points so just drag these points and just match the corners of your phone just like this let's do it for all the edges and you can see that it will automatically align your screen and let's align it so that we have the perspective of the screen just like that so once you're done with this we can probably place this below our phone screen so here you can see we have all the elements now if you want you can just tweak this further let's select the corner pin and you can just play around with these and you can just place it so that none of the gaps are visible something like this just make sure that this area is completely filled. So here you can see we have placed our video. Now you will notice that we are able to see a couple of these edges. So in order to get rid of it, we can create a simple shape layer. So let's select the pen tool. Make sure none of the layer is selected. Now you can just zoom in. And after that, you can draw a very rough shape to match the screen. Just make sure that this is inside the screen. Something like this. You don't have to be precise. So just keep on tracing this black area just like that so here you can see we have created this rough screen now we can set the track mode of it so i'm going to just place it below our iphone layer and now we can select the composition and i'm going to change its track mode to this top layer or we can just pick whip and just pick whip this one so here you can see now all the edges are gone so we have this perfect screen 
and in case you are using the older version of after effects then you won't have these kind of drop down or pick whip instead you will have a drop down which will say trackpad so just make sure to place the shape layer on top of the composition and after that you can change this to trackpad and everything will be same so here you can see we have placed everything up now let's do one more thing i'm going to select all of these layers and let's parent it to the iphone so that if i move the iphone you can see that everything will be moving with itself you can also add some shadow to this so in order to do that just select the pen tool and let's zoom in just roughly draw a shape which matches little bit of shadow so let's just place it over here and just place it something like this so here you can see we have this shape now i'm going to place this below all of these layers and on this one we are going to apply gaussian blur so just search for gaussian blur and let's drag it over here after that make sure to repeat edge pixel is turned off now you can increase the gaussian blur amount and let's set this to something around 200 after that you can select this press t and just play around with opacity and until you find something that looks good let's set this to something like that if you want you can play around with the shape as well you can just zoom in and you can just play around with these points and you can just make the shadow however you want let's place this over here just like this so here you can see we have this very nice shadow now let's parent the shadow with the iphone as well so that you can move the iphone freely and everything will be aligned itself you can apply all kind of transformation you can just scale this up you can also rotate it however you want just like this now in the same way you can add the screen to whatever image you have so for example if you have an android phone something like this then the process is same and if you have any laptop something like this and you can just apply corner pin to your video and just align it with the screen so this is how you can place these kind of animations now if you want you can add a little bit of position animation so let's add a keyframe for position let's move it little bit down and let's move it somewhere around two seconds let's move this up now we can select this press f9 let's go to four seconds and i'm going to just copy the first keyframe and paste it now you can just simply now you can just simply keep on doing this so just copy and paste it until you have a animation something like this so here you can see we have created this very nice animation now if you want to flip the phone if you want this to the other side then you can do this thing you can just create an adjustment layer and after that on this one you can apply transform and let's drag it onto the adjustment layer and from here we are going to uncheck the uniform scale and i'm going to set the scale width to negative 100 so here you can see we have flipped everything now in order to get the text back what i'm going to do is i'm going to just copy this transform and let's go under the comp and i'm going to just paste it over here and let's reset everything and let's uncheck and just set the width to negative 100 so now if i go back here you can see we have flipped the phone and we have flipped the text as well so in this way you can place any kind of animation onto a screen using the corner pin effect so I hope you learned something from this video and if you have any queries or questions then you can ask in the comments below. Also if you want to support my channel then you can check out my Patreon. Link for that will be in the description as well. So with that being said my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one.